Hi everyone, my name's Jenny Detmer. I'm on the Alt East England Committee and we're going to be chatting today, myself and Neil, who is the chair of the committee, um, about some of our previous events that we've held. Um, there's three of us in the committee, Neil, Uva and myself, and we started running um, events for Alt East England in 2019 and um, we're about to host our fourth event in June and that will be our first online event. Um, so our first event was back in May of 2019 at the University of East Anglia and the um, topic for that event was gamification, practice and pedagogy. And for that event we had presenters giving uh, 30 minute long presentations and the feedback that we got from attendees was that they wanted more interactive sessions. So for our second event at the University of Bedfordshire in November of 2019, we gave presenters the choice of 15, 30 or seven minute slots um, and there had to be interactive sessions. And the feedback that we got from our delegates was a lot more positive. So at University of Bedfordshire, the subject was supporting inclusive learning with technology, addressing attainment gaps. Our third event was at Anglia Ruskin University in February 2020. And the subject of that event was technology enhanced active collaborative learning challenges and solutions. And for our previous two events, we'd done um, a lunchtime tour for people who hadn't visited the campuses before. And this time at ARU, we had a talk from Andrew Middleton who's the Deputy Head of Anglia Learning and Teaching, um, which was a really interesting and interactive way to start the day. Um, so Neil, do you want to talk about the ARU event in a bit more detail? So there was a, there was a mixture of sessions. ARU has a, an active curriculum, like have students involved in their own learning. This is like a mixture of workshops, discussions, collaboration. So there's quite a few good examples at this event using learning technologies. Wendy Garnham and uh, Paolo Operandi uh, from the University of Sussex, a session, they had pictures of uh, insects and animals on each of grouped tables. And then using like a, an app of your choice, like Google Lens, you had to scan that image and see what that insect or animal was. And this was quite a, a good example of having a sort of active learning session. We had to go around uh, and find out and discover for ourselves what these were rather than like reading a book or listening to someone talk about it. Using the, the device, our phones or tablets we could find out what other things are related. So it, it was just a sort of an example of the, the choice of apps that you could use for this as well it was, was quite a large list. Um, and Emily Godden, who works at ARU, she did a session on sensory circuits. Uh, this was about using different combinations, like connecting wires together uh, to a battery and uh, like things like plasticine and fruit, trying to make noises and get it to light up. <laughs> so that was another example of a way to have active learning because we worked in groups and we just were given all the equipment and told to, to get on with it. <laughs> Do something it was sometimes successful and sometimes wasn't some good ideas to pass on to our colleagues in this picture you can see florence presenting her digital storytelling workshop which was really well received um, by the attendees as well as the sessions that neil has just outlined um, her workshop is a really good example of um, how we've incorporated um, workshops into our events can be used by everyone and not just learning technologists so our events are really open to everyone within hey I greatly enjoyed the digital storytelling session I admire the speaker for taking a hands-on approach with such time constrictions and I'm definitely going to follow up on the learning technologies she used as these seem quite accessible so that really sums up Florence's session that you know that we all felt after taking part in her workshop that this was something that we could go away and do ourselves um, and pass on the ideas to colleagues as well and next we've got Anna from the University of Bedfordshire and she said that using digital storytelling approach is really relevant to our healthcare and social work students 
who often write healthcare study assignments. This approach allows them to also develop as digital natives embedding ILT into their curriculum in a meaningful way. And finally, Florence from University of East Anglia said that the session on active and creative essay writing was an inspiration. And you can see um, some of the post-its on the screen there that we were writing for the active writing session. Um, as a learning developer, I could see how using her approach workshop with lecturers to give them ideas about supporting their students writing using different technologies along the way to manage the process. So that was another really popular event with our attendees. So Neil, did you want to talk a little bit about the upcoming events that we've got um, for Alt East England? Our next event is online. It's called Managing Change and it's uh, on the 11th of June. Uh, you can keep up to date by going to our website and signing up for our mailing list. So thanks for listening to this presentation about our collaborative learning event. Thanks everyone.